everyone. So today we are going to make, be making the Lowland Kids Tank Romper. You're going to need your two front pieces. We are doing the snap version today. So you're gonna need the two opposite pieces, your back piece, your pockets, and your bands, neck band and arm bands. So today we have our front piece and you're going to need to interface if you're doing the snaps. I have already added interfacing to mine. I like to use the heat and bond interfacing and um, I add it to the back side of it, just like this. Same to the other side. And this is like double sided, so it's pretty cool. All right, next thing is there is notches on the pattern for you to do your pockets, to place your pockets. So if you see that little notch right over here, and then we're gonna start adding our pockets. That is the first step to do, is to add our pockets. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to top stitch our pockets. So we're going to fold it over and then we are going to top stitch. So we have top stitched it and as you can see, I am getting ready to top stitch to the top of the romper. So what we just are going to do is we're going to fold in the sides here and then top stitch from here to here. Alright, so it should look something like this. I just kind of rushed it so it's not that perfect, but um, it should look something like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then we're going to come back and Step is. Now it's time to place our front and back pieces together. You're going to do just as you see here, and then you're going to um, sew at the very top edge of the shoulders. All right, now it's time to attach our neck binding and our arm binding, yeah. and we're just going to attach it as you would any other binding, just like this with your sewing machine, and then you can top stitch with your cover stitch. And I apologize for the mess in the background. I've been working a lot and I haven't had time to fix my sewing space, so I apologize. But you're just going to stretch evenly your binding piece all over the neck band and do the same thing for the armbands. And once you're done, you're just going to stitch it with your sewing machine or your cover stitch, however you prefer, and your um, binding should be done. All right, so this is what it should look like so far. We've done the neck and the armbands. Okay, so now we are going to flip it over. After we've done all this, we can cut our threads later. We're gonna hem it in. We're gonna bring it in one inch. So that's about one inch right there. So we're gonna bring it in one inch and we are going to hem it. So we're just going to bring it in one inch. And this is why I like the interfacing I'm using because it's like double sided. So if you were to iron this over it, it would just stick together and you wouldn't need to to pin it or anything so it's it's pretty it's pretty cool and it comes in handy because you don't need to um pin anything you would just um use your iron and it would stick together because it's double-sided all right so it should look something like this now and the back should look something like this and then now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around Clip it together here at the top, and then we are going to sew our side seams down. You want to make sure you catch the pocket piece and just make sure everything is nice and straight. And once you do that, you are just going to sew the sides down with your serger or sewing machine. I apologize because my birds have been pretty loud throughout the whole video, so I apologize for that as well. <laughs> All right, 
right, so starting at the top where the binding is, we're gonna put our first snap there and then we're gonna go ahead, I have some washable um, pens and we're gonna go every two and a half inches and mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark. we are done I kind of messed up there and didn't put it too low but um, we're gonna open it up and we are going to hem the shorts part so we're just gonna hem this part right over here we're gonna hem it and then we are gonna um, close everything up yeah And we are done. We have come to the end. I hope this video helps in any way. I'm sorry it's not the best. My angle was not the best. And my sewing space wasn't as clean as it should be. But if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer it as soon as I can.